Here you can see the login screen. And uh, the difference between KDE and GNOME is that there are a lot of differences because there are two entirely different desktop uh, systems. Uh, this one looks very much fancy. Uh, KDE is uh, not my favorite, but uh, it's um, it contains a lot of packages, uh, so, so you have a lot of opportunity to add widgets, looks very fancy. I'm a person that likes more clean structured systems, like uh, only to have Fluxbox installed, but that's my matter of taste. So you get web browser and a lot of things with and uh, I have not explored this uh, entirely but you can do a lot of wicked stuff in this like rotating widgets <laughs> putting photos and uh, keeping everything nice and structured so okay uh, we do like this we take an entirely new FreeBSD machine from a VMware instance. So what I'm going to do is that uh, while we install everything, the first thing I want to do is to make to get the port snap, um, to get the ports collection to install the VMware driver. That's the only reason I need port snap in this case. Uh, I begin with uh, to to press Alt F2 to bring up a new virtual console. I use port snap fetch followed by and and symbol port snap extract this is a combo to first fetch with port snap and then extract with port snap I run this in the background to install the port tree because I don't have it installed so I hope go back to my other terminal right now I would like to this will be a remote install so I would like to change my mirror the reason I change mirror is that uh, I don't want to download from the same server as the default one. This is the mirror that is closest to me. And if you didn't check the tutorial of, um, uh, of the GNOME desktop installation, I was explaining that this is a command that echoes the line that is inside of the citat and it outputs it to the file .cshrc. When this is done, I need to log out. You can press Ctrl D also to log out. And I log in again. And now the mirror should be changed. So what do I need to install the KDE desktop? The first thing I need is to uh, add the xorg server which is the server for the graphics uh, communication between the machine and the desktop so the xorg server has been installed now it's time to add the uh, kde4 package you use the same command pkg add with the option r and you put kde4 press return this package will take some time also to install, so we make a jump here also. So, we installed the KDE for desktop uh, after the Xorg server. What we need to do now is to make some adjustments, uh, not adjustments, but to make some configurations also. The first thing I would really like to remind is that we need to create an additional user else we will not be able to log in so run add user and you give it a name full name is if you want to put a real name I don't um, so login group for Plex if this user I create um, invite your user to wheel if you want to be able to change to route else the account will be very use uh, very useless if you don't so login group should be wheel and you just press return because you don't need if uh, perhaps you want other groups but in my case I don't need more groups than that uh, login class default uh, I use the default shell I will change this to ah I see I have the bash shell so I can change to bash this is uh, a lot more better than the old ones 
So um, a home directory, yes, and uh, password we want. No empty password, no random either. We put the password and repeat the password. No, I don't want to log out. Yes, this looks good. And you can see that uh, I'm in the uh, in the we and the group of wheel, which is the the group of administration. Yes, it looks okay. No, not not more users than that. You need to edit the file etcrc.conf. Use the VI editor. So what we need to do here is that we need to add following. We need to add a uh, hall D, which is the automatic detection of uh, mouse and keyboard, else you will not have any keyboard functioning. And you need also D bus together with the hall D. And you need to um, put this also local underscore start up equals dollar and curly bracket notice this uh, you will find this in um, the um, the handbook of FreeBSD if you look under desktop I will link this also in the notification So that was a long line. And you need to add code M4. Which is the uh, uh, the login screen. So let's see if everything looks okay. Debus enable, yes, local. Seems to be okay. So now we save this. And uh, since I've been adding a user, installing Xorg, installing the KDE4, and uh, we ins we edited the rc.conf, we can now install the VMware driver. This is only needed if you run VMware to get the correct, uh, correct um, screen resolutions. I checked the other virtual terminal. Yep, my port 3 has been finished. So, what you do is that you go to USR ports and you look what you have there. You make the X11 uh, drivers we want to enter. And we want XF86 video and VMware uh, CD into this directory to stand inside of it. So when you stand inside of this directory, USR port, X11 driver, XF86 86 video VMware you you put this command uh, we didn't speak anything yet about the uh, the how to install things from ports but the command make install clean is a combination so uh, with this command it will fetch the source code and it will compile the source code install everything all the binaries in correct place and uh, then it will uh, clean up after itself. So we have the VMware driver installed. Now we simply reboot to see if we made everything correct. If everything went okay, uh, we will get the, the key, uh, KDM4 login screen. So let's see here. So uh, uh, what I've been doing here is also, um, you find it also in the handbook of freebsd.org, uh, which is, I really recommend um, to get uh, familiar with that handbook. It's a very good handbook, very much documentation. So if everything is okay now, it will automatically start the KDM4. And something happens here now.
Yes, indeed. KDM4 has been launched. So let's try to log in with um, my user account. Everything seems to function well, actually. Wasn't that hard. So um, as you see, KDM4, uh, KDE4, I mean, uh, is a very fancy desktop. A little bit heavy to run under VMware, of course, but on a real computer, this would be fantastic. So um, speaking about desktop systems, uh, what you more need to have, of course, is to have an audio driver installed. Um, it can be a tutorial later on how to use the um, audio driver to find the correct one, else you can use the generic one. But um, try to find it also in the handbook of FreeBSD and uh, it's really easy to, to launch that driver. But we take a complete uh, tutorial later on how to add the drivers. So uh, everything was installing correctly here. So enjoy the KDE4 desktop.